Hey guys, Eclipse14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Well, I got Zelda, and we gotta get out of here. So, let's do that. First things first, though, I'll just do this for good measure. I mean, I'm not coming back to this area anymore. First things first is getting out of the basement. Brings up to B2, which is one of the smallest rooms in the game, and just serves as the purpose to just go to B1. And with that, the main drive begins. I think the enemies start to respawn three rooms away from 1F. Not that it matters, because I'm going to use a shortcut anyway, but I think that's where they respawn. Yeah, because there's nothing here. Yep, that's exactly where they are. Alright, so right up here is this thing. You jump. Derp. <laughs> Get owned. And I may as well just whack you too. And that's that. Alright, up the stairs. And that brings us up to the main castle. So I took the western path coming in. We'll take the eastern path out. Just go ahead and go up the stairs here. Flip this jar. And uh, maybe if I'm lucky, I'll yeet it on one of the knights. Ah, so close. Might get a second chance. Now they gotta move away to make it possible. Oh, you're still like... Darn it, you moved. Well, can't say I didn't try. <laughs> Just do this. Works for me, and uh... Well, it looks like they're running. Whacked you. Ground to ground, but not higher ground, apparently. Oh well. And with that, we're back in the main lobby. I wouldn't doubt it. Up the stairs, and let's head for the throne room. Up to 2F. Got two blue knights. Go ahead and just... Nope. Nice try, though. Just grab that. Uh, see if I can grab... Yep, there's the other rupee. Alright, up to the thrones that are now empty. I'll put the lamp up after this, so we'll just do as she says. That opens that, press start, lamp, and here we go. So the sewers aren't too large, just three floors, and there's only a couple rooms each. And of course, there's no way back in. Oh, shoot. Wasn't paying attention there. Yeah, it, it happens. But anyway, all I really need to do is just light one lantern. It's a little dark, but I can see through this, so I've got nothing to worry about. Yeet. And I think that's actually it for the rats. We'll just take the stairs down to 2F. Well, 1F, excuse me. Uh, one have to be snakes. Well... Well, that worked out. Straight stairs down to B1. And then brings us here. Oh, more snakes. And bats. Go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and hit that. I think over on... Yep, there's a chest. Open that. There's the key. And that opens the door into the sewers. Sounds good to me. Alright, so I'll just light this. And more rats everywhere. Oh hey, my first red ruby. Go ahead and grab that. Alright, so we'll just take them all out. There we go. I already know what the floor is like, so I'll just head on into the western door. 
whacked. Nope, missed it. Got that one now. Oh, I misangled it. I think that's all of them? Nope, there's a bat here. Down. That's that. Light's still active. Oh, another red root. Wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting a second one. And that's the key, which I think Zelda just picked it up. Which is crazy. Open the door. That brings us to this inexplicable lit area. Where, uh, as you can see, there's some uh, damaged walls that we can blow up with bombs later, but right now we need to just get out of here, and this will come later. Right now, just take care of everything. Push this block, and upstairs into the back end of the sanctuary. Nope, they moved. Got one, though. Alright, I think there's one more. There we go. Zelda doesn't really... She can't really point or anything. It's the right one. I'll just go ahead and hit that. That's pretty much how it does it. A, push down long enough, and it opens. What happens if you open the left one? Well, more snakes. Snakes everywhere. Of course there's one, like, right next to me. Go ahead and just take them. And that's that. And with that, we're out of the castle and in the sanctuary. I mean, I'm here. No doubt about it. Yep. And that's that. Anyway, open this chest. If I can even get it. And that's the first heart container. Bringing us to four hearts and eight HP total. And we can also start back from this place. Not that that means too much to me. Anyway. We're only at 9 minutes, let's just go ahead and head to where we need to go, which is that X in Kakariko Village. Now, just a heads up, and I may end up doing this just completely on accident, um, but there have been times where I've played this game and have accidentally called the village Kakarot Village, because Goku, they, they sound so similar, all the way till the last two or three letters. So, uh... I'm sure somebody else has done the same thing. I don't think it's that, uh, uncommon. Anyway, with that, what we actually need to do is, uh... Hi!
Oh, that's a problem. Simple stuff, yeah. And that's really about it. What we actually need to do is head for, I think, the southwestern corner of the place. Though, there are a couple other things we need to do. Particularly talk to this guy. For the first of four bottles in the game. Two red rupees really helped me out here. Yep, take it. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong, but Link would have done it anyway. Because it's Link. And that's the first of four bottles. Okay. Uh, with that done, we gotta avoid the villagers because they will call guards. But uh, I think... Uh, oh, yeah, that's the guy we need to speak to. So, I'll just go ahead and take care of him now. And with that, uh, yeah, very near the first dungeon in the Eastern Temple. We'll go there shortly. I think there's one thing I need to do, which is, uh, yeah, go back behind this place. And there's a chest here. Lift, yeet. Hey! There's the second magic bottle. Alright, neat. And, uh, I think there's a few other things I can pick up here, but, um... Hmm, I should probably get over there. In all honesty, I don't want to take forever with this episode, because uh, I'm going to be dedicating next episode to the Eastern Temple, so we'll just head north and just make our way all the way to where we need to go. Other than that, there's not much else to do. Go ahead and just whack you and get you out of the way. I'll do some other stuff later. I just wanted to take care of that and as at least the two bottles, even though I've got nothing. It's a good start for later. Works for me. <laughs> Wants me to jump into water. I can't swim yet. Nope. Oh, I forgot I have the I still have the, uh, lamp. I need the, uh, yo, boomerang. Thought up and down would have done it, but apparently not. Nope. Let's go ahead and... Oops. That was just bad timing. Oh, you wanna fight? Bring it. And with that, we head on up. Now I just gotta walk up these stairs. And I think close by... Whoops. There it is. I'll just jump down inside the room. Well, building. There he is, Sazrala.
<laughs> Not like you have any option. Sounds good to me. And about 15 and a half minutes would be a good time to kind of cut off. But first things first, just take care of this and make sure I'm at full. And uh, I'll go ahead and cut it here. And next episode, we'll take a look at the Eastern Palace. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.